Hello Amiibros, this is Jason of Game & Shock, so welcome back to my Let's Play on Serious Sam for the original Xbox. Now that's a name I have heard for a long time. So, last time we started episode 4 by going through the ziggurat where, you know, we just casually just gunned everyone down. But, the main point of that video was that I drank peace tea, and I'm gonna continue that here. Why? Because this and this video that you're seeing right now, I'm recording them back to back from each other. So, I still got some peace tea here, so let's drink some. Ah, still delicious. So now we're going to continue on as we go through the gates of Persepolis. So now, let's start. So let's just, uh, oh. I was about to say, the starting door doesn't even open. This game is uh, very strange, as it doesn't even want me to go through the first door. No. Of course it would let me through the first door, so. So what, so this place looks like a, um, another level that we did, like, like much earlier, like in episode two. Like, early. Because it looks like it has, like, a very similar similar layout to that. I don't know if it is. It, it just feels like it. But it probably isn't. So, uh, as always, we just uh, go around just casually just shooting everyone. You know, just, like, blowing this guy up. Blowing these guys up. <laughs> and uh, this guy just uh, falls down and dies. And <laughs> just gets blown up in the process. And, uh... So it's, it's exactly what you expect it to be. So we just uh, go around killing Pumba and uh, some, a bunch of skinless, or as some people would like to call it, uh, Satan's Hellmates. Uh, so, uh, and also Buzzsaw Man. Just being Buzzsaw Man. And uh, let's see, get this guy. Is it, uh, uh oh. What's, what's that I hear? Why, it's the sound of a bull. But the thing is, where is that bull? Is it doing bull? Huh, no. Maybe it's doing Red Bull, because it, want, it wants to get some wings. I hear, I hear the bull. Oh, oh, it's not even a bull. Okay, never mind. Uh, wait, was that a... Wait, actually, that health. Was that a secret health that I, I wasn't paying attention? Oops. Uh, so, uh, anyways, let's just, uh, go, just keep, keep going. Just keep going. Just, shoot, just keep shooting more Faco Warps and blow, blow up some chunks and also blow them into the air. Because I, I guess, um, Serious Sam likes to do that. Like, he just goes on the ground and just goes... <gasps> so just chunks on the ground and just wants to, you know, leave them in the air. I, I don't think he wants to do that. And oh my god, that buzzsaw man just chopped down an entire tree, which has one strike. How does that work? I want to know, buzzsaw man. Uh, so, uh, let's see. I don't have Tom I don't have Tommy with me, but we can still shoot harpies. If I can shoot harpies, yeah, this, uh, actually maybe maybe the um, the shotgun isn't the best weapon to use against harpies. And there's another Goro up there, so you know what that means. <laughs> snipe, <laughs> snipe him from all the way over here. No, 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 no! Don't shoot your uh, lead balls at me. Stop it! No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Please, just go back where you were. You know. Oh wait. Uh, oh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. I, you know how I was how I was oh wait, he died. <laughs> a skinless killing another skinless. Uh so what I was saying was I just noticed remember remember like like many parts ago where I used to think that the harpies were male harpies? Turns out I'm wrong. They're, those were female. Like you saw the you saw like you saw that. Like, they're clearly fem female. And, uh, there's, uh, P Pumba right here. Uh, still, uh, Hakuna Matata. <laughs> oh, whoa, oh, sorry. Uh, it's a, it, it was still a wonderful phrase, though. Uh, what's in here? Do I have, do I have to get another one of those, um, wings? Like, like in the previous, um, like in the ziggurat? Or is this still... What, what is this? Sacred Stone Touch. We t okay, we touched it, but... Does it do anything? Well, what does it do? What does it do? Like, it's shining, obviously. It's very shiny! No. Well, it is, but... Just, uh... But, but, but what exactly does it do? Does it have some, like, very strange mystical power that I don't know about? That, like, give, that gifts the people of Mesopotamia, like, like, everything that they need? It could be. But I don't, but I don't know. Maybe there's another, uh, sacred stone somewhere. 
Uh, so it's got some rockets, and there's some serious damage. Hell yeah! <laughs> Who wants to get serious? Uh, I guess no one. No one No one has the balls to come after. Actually, no, 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 no. There's one person there. There's the Scorpion King. But, uh, but he's not the only one. I guess there's another Scorpion King. And a Pumbaa. And a Skinless. All dead. So... Because, again, you don't go, you don't mess with Serious Sam, ever. Even with this skinless. He's ma he made a grave mistake right here. Hmm, hmm, roasted skinless, huh? So what's over here? Am I even going the right way? It feels like I am, but, I, uh, but sometimes it feels like I'm not. And uh, I don't think I'm going the right way. Uh, oh, wait, wait, is that an opening? No, it's not. Okay, let's just turn back and... Okay, that was the that was the sacred stone. Yeah, that's the sacred stone. I need to find another uh, thing, or just, or maybe I have to go back. I I don't know. It's a maze of buildings, basically, and uh, and uh, I guess I just I should just follow my own advice. Of if there's enemies, I'm going in the right direction. At least I think. At least I think that. It, well, I know that is my advice, but uh, I'm just trying to figure out how to get out of here. If I can get out of here. So my guess is that I have to go this way. Yeah, because there's enemies over here. So enemies equal right direction. Stay in school. Stay in school, kids. Wait, kids. Wait a minute. I made the same joke last time. Kids are not going to be watching this. I mean, you see, you see like all this murder going on. Oh, no, 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 no. Nice try, door. You think you think you can outsmart Sirius Sam? Hell no. Uh, so it's Save the game here, grab some more rockets. Do I have my phone rockets? Oh no, oh no, those are sniper bullets. My bad. Let's go this way now. And uh, let's grab stuff. Grab some more sniper bullets. How many sniper bullets do I have? I'm curious. I have 24. Uh, let's see. There's a serious bomb, I'm not gonna use it. And uh, oh my god, <laughs> a goon, that goon just killed a fake morph. He's, he's like, you know how I'm just going around killing fake morphs? I guess I'm not the only one. You know what? I'm proud for that guy. That guy, that guy's like standing up for himself. Major props. Major props to that guy. Uh, so, okay, there's a Goro right there. So uh, Goro equals sniper. And also his ball, his uh, his uh, his green death balls also equal um, equal sniper. Uh, oh no 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 no! That, that, I missed it. I missed that. Uh, can I shoot the? Can I shoot this guy from here? I can. <laughs> Serious Sam has a very impressive aim. Like, if, like it's like I, I'm still surprised by it, like shooting as far as, it, like shooting as far as he does. Like, it, it, that's just plain impressive. Okay, and just some random uh, yelling yodeling man comes out of nowhere. Shoot this guy. Shoot this guy. Shoot yelling yodeling man again. Grab some health. It's like a checklist. Kill this guy. Grab the grab the the rockets. Kill yelling yodeling man. Kill Pumba. R run around some more. Run around doing some errands. It's like that one SpongeBob episode. Have you finished those errands? Have you finished those errands? Errands, 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 errands. Have you finished those errands? Have I finished those errands? Uh, well, no. But we're getting close. But I did check the um. um the like uh like the like the levels and it turns out we're on level 25 i think out of 36 levels um so we're we're, de we're definitely getting close to the end um but the thing is like i don't know what like how long these levels are going to be but i'm so cur curious uh so there's the other uh sacred stone sacred stone touch and now we leave and so does this guy this guy also leaves and then also, so does Buzzsaw Man and Pumbaa. Because in the world of Serious Sam, everything just uh, comes and goes. Like, th like these these guys. Uh, oh, a treasure bag. I think that's my first treasure bag I found. Or, may, or it might not be. I, I, I don't know. I haven't been keeping track. This, um, maybe I should be drinking some peace tea. Maybe that'll help. It'll calm my mind. And <laughs> it'll calm... It'll calm... It'll, it's a, it'll be a soothing experience. Is that it? Is that is that it? Maybe I should check the messages. What's is there anything new here? Uh, nope. Okay, then just make it sure. And then uh, <laughs> we just kill the Scorpion King. 
with a with a well timed shotgun blast, and then uh, kill Pumba and this guy. That, no, and then there's yelling yelling man, and then there's harpies. Those we do, but again, these are female harpies. They're, I have a feeling that in Greek mythology there actually are male harpies, but you know they're nowhere near as common as you know like um, the female ones. Like you know like if, like anyone who's familiar with Greek mythology, like you know like like anything in Greek mythology, like except for uh, well actually the Scorpion King's not a uh, you know is not a Greek myth, but maybe it's an Egyptian myth. Or some other myth that I can't think of. Like, you, like, just think of, um, of, um, uh, what's it? You think of Greek mythology and, like, a lot of the, like, the monsters, like, not monsters, but, like, um, species of Greek mythology are, like, are, like, half human, half animal. Like, you know, centaurs, medusa, uh, uh, fawns, like, so many, like, I guess that's what the Scorpion King is like. Maybe he was inspired by Greek mythology, or like the person who came up with uh, the Scorpion King, and maybe he just thought he just wanted to become one with the Scorpion. And now, yet, yeah, and now here we are. Um, he just he just really wanted to be a Scorpion. I guess I guess that's if if that's the life you want to live, go, go ahead. It'd be a uh, very interesting I'll say I'll say that it's, it'll be interesting or even like like if anyone was like fused with an animal in some way like how would that play out because that would be a very interesting idea like like um everyone be, like everyone being like having animal features like how would that turn out because that there's been something on my mind that I was like thinking of like I was thinking of like maybe doing like um uh like a story like that where like everyone's like um, uh, what's it, why am I, why am I blanking on it, um, like, you know, has animal features, and, like, you know, there's, like, a, a story, like, not just around that, but also, like, you know, like, other stuff, like, I have some drawings of it that I've been doing, like, I've been getting back into drawing lately, which has been fun, but I still need to, like, think of some ideas, like, I need to get my, uh, creative juices working, okay, actually, uh, uh here's some juice, it's not juice, but still, have some peace tea, Maybe that'll get my creative juices flowing. And, uh, okay, there's a... Uh, hmm... We got this one room right here. It's with a lever. This looks, this looks way too suspicious. Are those crushers up there? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Oh, no, they are! They are! I was right! Oh, no, no, no! I was not... I, okay, I should have expected that. It, it seemed way too suspicious. Die, Fago Morphs! Just go away! <laughs> go away, my voice cracked. <laughs> go away, please. So what's next? Another one. So what happens here? Is there another uh, crusher? Oh, it brings the crushers up. But what happens here? Oh, it, they bring out the bull. The one bull? Yeah, just the one bull. And then that's it. So we just hit three levers and that's it. So is that it? Uh... Seems like it. Uh, so let's let's go through here. What what's up there? It's like a it's a bunch of uh like not balconies but um like just a bunch of like struts of um of uh like marble. Okay, what's the what's our message here? This yard was the last line of defense for uh Persepoli Persepolians. I don't I don't know how you say that. Five guarding towers protected the city from a frontal attack. Each of the towers could easily hold over 20 archers, which made Persepolis almost impenetrable. However, there is no city in the world that can resist one fully equipped, dangerous, brave, intelligent, handsome warrior from the future. Lead me into the city, darling. Ah, this game. This game, <laughs> this game's sense of humor is just, like, absolutely, like... Top notch, like it's it's amazing. Like if it if you don't ha if you don't laugh at this this kind of humor, what's wrong with it? No, I'm kidding. Um, I'm like um, I mean, they, come on, it's, it's kind of hard to not like this uh, sense of humor. Like this game has, like I said, Pong and shit. I can't handle that. I I what it's true. It's very Pong and shit. What what do we have? Here? 
Oh, we got the we got the war theme going on. So we just uh, so I assume this is some kind of a battleground, and we just gotta. Well, obviously it is a battleground. We got five towers that can hold twenty archers, and we just gotta we just gotta go to war. <laughs> shooting fake war. <laughs> just running around and shooting everyone. <laughs> The serious damage is actually lasting quite a while, which is quite good, considering that we might be here for a while. Which I hope not, because, uh, because maybe we, get, we can get some other stuff in. <laughs> okay, so I think, I think, um, seems to me that the cults seem to be, um, getting the job done when it comes to, uh, using serious damage, because, um, uh, they have infinite ammo, so you can just, like, you know, like, you don't have to deal with, you know, losing all your ammo and just, like, um, Doing stuff. And also, that guy in the tower killed those fake morphs. Like again, these guys, some of these guys just have a, just have like a major, like just like have like a major hard on for, for you know, just killing like their fellow, uh, their fellow um, bad guys. Well, their fellow uh, teammates. Cause uh, I don't know, I don't know their ideals. Uh, we just gotta kill them. We just gotta kill another fake morph. Kill another one of these guys. Grab some health, even though I don't really need health, but... Actually, should I just stand here and just <laughs> let all the enemies just come to me? And then do what, I did, do what I did last time and just, you know, back up into the door and, and call it a day? That would be very interesting. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> that guitar, like, wow. Like, someone had some, like... Someone has, like, some major skill on that guitar. Like, like you hear that, like... Like, that's some, uh, really big guitar riffs going on. I mean, I don't know anything about music, but, uh, don't quote me on it. WAR! Another guy blew up! It's probably Yoli Yoli Man. And then there's, here he comes. It's the, it's the one, the only Yoli Yoli Man. Let's see, what else do we have? Do we have anything else? Do I see another guy? Yes, I do. And then uh, there is another one. Now I think I, I don't know if I've used all the serious damage, but uh, even then the shotgun is still doing like exactly what I expected to do. Is that is there anything over here? Yeah, I think I collected everything. Uh, come on, can I hit the speaker? Oh, there we go. Uh, again, like I said, we're probably gonna be here for quite a while, so I should I should have uh, drinking some peace tea before we started. You know, help soothe the mind a bit. Oh, I think we're done. Uh, is that it? I think so. That's. I think that's it. We're just going down a quarter. Yeah, that's it. Okay, it was just Sam walking down, a, walking down a quarter. Oh, so I did get no, no secrets. Okay. So that one that so that one that I wasn't paying attention to so uh, that wasn't a secret, okay. I, I was just making sure, but there was only two secrets. So like, how was I supposed to know? But yeah, and that last area, I was not expecting it to be as short as it was. Maybe because I'm playing on easy now, like maybe I'll switch back to normal since you know we're at 91 lives. Like I don't know, and we're sending we're getting really close to the game to the end of the game, and I don't know. Uh, cheers. Ah, ah, that's good. So yeah, that was good. I kind of like Ziggurat a bit more, but you know, that was still fun. Going through the gates of Persepolis. Which again, I want to read that uh, graphic novel and hopefully I can get, I'll get to it. Or maybe I'll just like uh, look through, look for it on my computer. I, I don't know. So the next level that we're going to do is the Elephant Atrium. But we're going to do that for the, the next video. Well... It was about time that we reached Persepolis, one of the most beautiful cities in ancient Babylon, and one of the biggest, by the way. Our main objective, the Tower of Babel, should be clearly visible from the main square of Persepolis. Let's go there, Sam. I'm sure that we'll encounter those abominations of nature on our way. Uh, but there is an old Japanese haiku that, that goes, The one who owns a minigun fears not. Um, good luck, honey. <laughs> So does that mean that this computer is a woman?
Okay. Um, but yeah, that is it. So thank you all for watching the video, and please comment, like, and subscribe. And next video, we are going to do the Elephant Atrium. Very interesting name, by the way. And, and we also got a Japanese haiku to go along with it. I have not heard that Japanese haikus in... Since, like, what, 5th grade? Or 6th sixth, sixth grade? I don't, I don't know. But anyways, shock the world and us, amiibos. Goodbye!